Uh, the other option is that he plays aggressive well. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> Like, listen, the, the best defense is a good offense. That, that, if he's constantly true. on top of uh, of Ace, uh, like, like Bayo is, you know, she her frame data is kind of good with her specials. Yeah. But definitely Fox can stay on top of her. Right, he's playing more patient, so he's going with that option right now, so he's waiting for it. Because he knows how Bayo, Bayo plays. Oh. See? He didn't want to, you know, test the aggressiveness because Ace could immediately adapt to it from what we noticed. And like that, look at that, look at that, big Ooh. damage. What did I tell you? I can't believe that up there missed. I know. But... Okay, uh, nice job just crouching there. You know, Fox can't laser, can't hit you. Despite how high her butt goes in the air, it is not Ooh, high no, enough to get tag. lasered. Nice, but nice catch roll, but Ace catching it immediately. Like yeah. I said, this is... Yeah, he has to play it, like a little more patient because there's no telling what could happen in this matchup. And Ace, he knows what he's doing with Bale. Ooh, nice patience right there. You know, one thing is that we're seeing a lot from Coffee Bug early on in the game is shield. Yeah. Recognizing that an earlier Ooh, percentage. Ooh, but you're missing oh. in the neutral beat and he is dead. And that's the sort of thing where if you're Fox, you know, you don't want to be up Oh, but there we go. Ace yeah. spaced it correctly, but Coffee knew immediately. Up smash. Boom. You're dead. Ooh, if he would have timed it better, he probably would have got it. I mean, he was expecting the immediate side bait. I and agree. it was good from Coffee Bug to delay it just a little bit. Oh. Oh, good. Smart oh, raise. Oh, man. And that's a combo. Okay, so the fact that Fox is a fast faller, I think, actually helped him out right there. I agree. Because floatier characters, if you get hit by a, an up B oh, or up tilt yep. on the platform, you can die for it. I agree, but look how Ace is playing right now. Getting in that damage while playing, you know, a little more patient, not letting his opponent get much damage. But here we go, we got the Fox up here. It's classic right now. Here we go, patience. Yeah. What, what did I tell you? Patience right there. That Bayo side B onto stage is an extremely popular I agree, option. You see Coffee Bug go for the back here. Ooh, Yo, good DI. Oh! <laughs> good, good DI. But Ace right there with the B, you know. Back air from the reverse. Well, that was such a fantastic bait because he was charging the guns, oh. and we actually saw the beginnings. He's not dead though. I okay. know. Oh, is he dead? Oh! oh! See, he kind of knew it's time, but you know, it's all in timing. He was too close to the stage. I agree. If he was a little more lower, that yeah, would have played yeah. a lot more. Because you can just down air him, especially with a stock lead. Yeah. Oh my god, that down air would have definitely killed him. All right, he's trying to. Oh, nice! Patience right there, waiting for it to come out. And we've been seeing Coffee Bug do that run up shield a lot, and that's kind of the thing he's looking for. A lot of Bayo's big combo starters are punishable if you uh, just throw them out on shield recklessly. Nice side beat, uh, back away from Ace a bit. Oh. All right, no Ooh. side beat. Ah, I think he was hoping for that very back hitbox of, of the oh back air. All right, Coffee Bug has to be careful. He can't afford to take any more damage, but like, here we go, up air. Ooh, I like that. Oh, he almost had the roll in. Back in? Nope. The fact kill him. that 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 bandwidth in was so good. Things are actually looking. Oh, Simon! Yeah, uh, he was oh hoping my. for the air not to which time. Yeah, he was a little too late there. Oh, oh no no the on the platform. It's gonna take it. Max Rage Fox. I can't believe that hit. He got that late forward air. Felt like from forever ago. I know, right? Good stuff by Cogbug right? Immediately punishing right there. Yeah, and man, look at that face on Ace. I know, he's, he's like, like, like chin mm, okay, okay, okay. You know, he's like, that's just game one, that's just game one. Yeah, yeah. And it does feel like he did have a really solid read on what Coffee Bug was trying to do. I agree. However, at the very end right there, he couldn't find a way to yeah. close it out. Well, I have a match. All right, so I, uh, it's been a pleasure commentating. Maybe I'll see you back here later. In the meantime, I will hold down the fort with solo commentary. All right, getting into game two here, a nice comeback from uh, from Coffee Bug. That definitely says that if you are ace, you cannot afford to. Uh, you gotta be careful. All right. I think that one of the big parts of this matchup are going to be disadvantage at the ledge, especially on a stage like this with those ellipses, the little slants at the side, which can make things even trickier to uh, to make it back to stage. Oh, oh my doodoo! All right, he's fine. <gasps> no, he overextended. I thought maybe with the wall jump he could make it back, but no, he actually expended too many of his resources, and that is such a brutal stock to be losing like that. Oh man, especially after Ace had been up by so much in that last game. To be down this much with no wiggle room left. 
Let's see, maybe possibly some damage, some extra credit dealt from Coffee Bug. Ace already at. Oh, Bat Within helping him out right there. Forward throw is not going to be enough. At this point, he's looking for back airs for kill. Maybe an up tilt. Grabbing, you know, it's, it's good to get some stage positioning, but even neutral air at this percent doesn't finish it. And that, in that situation, also, the fact that he could go for a high up meant that Ace couldn't even necessarily go down there in which time. There was no guarantee he was going to go to the ledge. Anyway, nice job cleaning up that stock with the throw at the end there. Ace was wrecking. Oh, no. No way. You can't actually be. All right. He's fine. <laughs> Ooh, went for a turnaround up top. I think he was expecting the uh, first hit of forward air to send Coffee Bug at a different angle. Oh man, look at that parry. That top platform for both characters is so horrifying. And I cannot believe that they are so brazenly just hanging out up there. Looking for that falling Luchler. We already saw in that last game what happens when that move connects. Oh, he, re he recognized the uh, inner dodge, but the up didn't actually land. And I think if Fox reflects the. Oh, what was that guy? If Fox reflects guns, I don't actually think it goes back to hit Bayo because of the uh, nature of the angle it gets reflected at. But nonetheless, it can help him out when he is recovering. Oh, that should be it. Oh, he had so much lag, but in the end, Coffee Bug opts for the up tilt. Not actually able to finish it, but with that pressure, look at it. So many moves. Part of, that's like Fox's frame data coming out to show what it can do. All that pressure, and right now, Ace is kind of shaking in the face of it. But right as I say that, he went for the full hop down there, meant to auto-cancel it, but that up B from Ace out of shield just too quick. Oh no! Back here is enough to do it though, doesn't matter that that up tilt whiffed. And now we have basically an even game here, and it's worth noting that Ace lost the first stock to his own uh, overzealous actions. Feels like he's been really cleaning up his play for the rest of the game. <gasps> Whoa, that was so smart! So he crouched in order to make sure that that down in his hitbox wouldn't hit him, like, you know, from a standing position. And then the down tilt actually managing to hit him out of it. That was incredible. Feels like Ace has adapted, especially because those falling aerials are what Coffee Bug has been getting most of his kills with. Okay. Like that up throw, trying to get him up to that top platform. We've already seen what the up air pressure can do. Dashing back and forth, that up smash finally finds that falling neutral air. You saw the up tilt, but it was a little bit too early. Spaced around it, combos into the finisher, and that's going to be Coffee Bug in winner's semi.